Okay, here we have a Vinco Negro Mist kit. It's a fruit wine kit. Um, the one that we're opening up today is going to be a white pear. And um, just be aware that all fruit wines are sweeter from this brand. So you're looking at like, uh, you know, a four, five, six in sweetness. Uh, so they're very sweet, they are good, and they're also a little bit lighter. So they're not as, um, the alcohol isn't as high as you would in a regular wine kit. And the reason for that is just because of the size of the bladder itself. So we're going to open this up. Again, it has a tracking number on the top. I always try and keep these. Um, a, because if you like it, you know what you made. And B, uh, if you do have any issues, you're, there's a way to, tr to track it and, uh, and confirm um, what was wrong in the process, if it was on your end or if it was a uh, manufacturer. Generally, they've been very, very good, uh, but I always try and keep them. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> Another thing that we should be aware of, it is six liters, and it does still make 23 liters. So it's, uh, instead of it being 6.5 in the, on the house brand, for example, it's six liters. And the reason for that is because of the food pack. And it takes four weeks to do. And the good thing about these four week kits as well is that they are ready to drink right away just because they're so sweet. Uh, so they're, they're right, right off the bottling, you're gonna enjoy the, the wine right away just because of the, the sweetness uh, takes away any of the young flavors you would have in a typical uh, drier wine. Okay, so we have, uh, the first thing we have here is the bladder. So this is the fruit bladder that it comes in with. And uh, again, it has uh, the name of the type it is. So it has your white pear on the side. And uh, it's in a metallic uh, bag. And we have our ad pack. And then we have the bladder. So in this bladder, I generally try and mix these bladders up just a little bit before use. And uh, you can see it's, it's, uh, it is the lightest bladder that is uh, in this brand, in the Vinco brand, just because it is a fruit wine. If this is just using uh, a wine base. And then, uh, so what you would do is you would ferment the wine base, and then after fermentation and after transferring, then uh, later in the, in the process, uh, you'd be adding before bottling about, I think it's like uh, 10 days. I'll, I'll have an instruction uh, video on, on the next one, but it, basically uh, you're gonna add this later in, in the closer to the end of the winemaking process before bottling. In the app pack, it's like the rest of uh, most of these kits. So I'll do it in order of uh, use. So here we have the EC118, which is uh, a, a workhorse of a, of a wine yeast. Uh, then we have a bentonite, which is 30 grams, and this helps clarify and, and uh, break things down. And then we have the sulfite sorbate mix. Uh, this is 11.5 grams, so there's a little bit more in uh, the sulfite sorbate mix, just because, and I know the reason, the reason for this is because these are sweeter wines, so they really want to prevent you from having re-fermented bottles in the end. So the, the reason why you have popping bottles sometimes, if you ever do, is A, because the wine or the yeast is not fully, uh, is, is not completely gone or dead, and then you're gonna have a warm up of, uh, let's say you get to room temperature, you have a re-fermentation occur, and then you, your wine be then becomes cloudy or the bottles pop, just because this is so sweet. That's the reason why uh, they're adding a bit more um, sulfate sorbate mix in there. And then we have the Kizil Chita Sand, which is for clarification. And of course, last one is the instruction sheet. Um, so that's basically what you need to know. Uh, again, you would ferment this first, and then of course add, the first stage would be these two plus that and water. And, um, and then the second stage would be the sulfite sorbate mix. And then you would um, add this, I believe, I gotta double check on the instructions. Let's check right now. Yes, you would add this first and then add the chitosan. So, kizil first, then this, and then that is what they're suggesting. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. They're really, really good. They're very, very sweet. If you like, if you have a sweet tooth, if you're a younger wine drinker, I find that there's a tendency for people that are getting new into winemaking, that this is a really good, uh, easy win 
because it's always going to taste good. Uh, and um, you can check out our blog post that's going to be out about uh, some add-ons or little things you can do to make these things not just good but spectacular. Uh, so, so check that out and uh, take it from there. Thanks.